Welcome to the chapter about meiosis. Now, meiosis sounds a lot like mitosis, and that's a good thing because they are very similar, but there's going to be some major differences between the two as well. So as you remember, mitosis was going to be when cells just divide, and they're going to do that when they're trying to um, regenerate or when you're growing and developing, those types of things. Meiosis, the only purpose of meiosis is to make gametes, which are sex cells. So the only purpose is to make eggs or sperm. That's it. Um, so we call meiosis a reduction division. And um, what that means is we all know that our cells have 46 chromosomes. At the end of meiosis, you're only going to have 23 chromosomes in your cells. So that's why we call it a reduction division. Um, I'll show you why in a second on the PowerPoint. Um, so like I said, it's the point of it is to make gametes in the form of egg and sperm. And egg and sperm are only going to have 23 um, chromosomes in each of them. Um, somatic cells are going to be the type of cells that go through mitosis, right? So meiosis is for gametes, mitosis is for somatic cells. And somatic cells just means they're non-sex cells, basically. And those cells are going to have 46 chromosomes. So fertilization is going to be where you have two gametes come together, and together they'll form a diploid cell with 46 chromosomes, right? Because you have 23 and 23 coming together to make 46. Um, Another important term that you're going to want to know is homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes are going to be ones that are going to code for the same basic stuff. So let's say you have a chromosome and you have um, eye color, hair color, and height. So eye color could vary. It could be brown, blue, green, whatever. Hair color, same thing. You could have red, blonde, black, brown. And then height, short, tall, medium, whatever. So those kinds of things are just general categories. So let's just say that chromosome number two codes for those three things. And you get a chromosome number two from your mother and from your father. Those are considered to be homologous chromosomes because they're coding for the same basic stuff, even if you look at them really more specifically and your mom might give you blue eyes, your, mom, your dad might give you brown eyes, and that type of thing. So homologous chromosomes are just the general category ones that we're talking about. Um, so, sexual life cycle is going to be consisting of meiosis followed by fertilization. So meiosis is going to create the egg and the sperm, the egg and the sperm eventually meet each other, fertilize, and then we're going to get into the rest of our life cycle. Um, so, let's go to the PowerPoint and we can kind of talk a little bit more about um, what I was saying. Okay. So, we've got 46 chrom um, chromosomes in a normal cell, right? Um, and this is going to be showing you what happens with meiosis. So, it's going to go through DNA replication, just like it shows in here. And so, if we have that replication, we're going to have 92 total chromosomes, right? Because we're going to duplicate each one. So, 46 times 2 is 92. Then what's going to happen is those cells are going to split in what's called meiosis 1, and so now you can see you've got 46 and 46. And then what's going to happen is there's not going to be DNA replication again to bring it back up to 92. So these cells are just going to split again, and then you're going to end up with 23, right? So at the end of meiosis, you're going to end up with four cells, each with a haploid number of chromosomes. That's really, really important to understand. So these four cells down here are going to be your sex cells, either eggs or sperm. Now, the way that that works kind of varies um, depending on if it's eggs or sperm, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So that's going to be how meiosis works. So our... Um, uh, cell right here, it's got 46, goes through DNA replication, we have 92. Then it's going to split, so half goes here, half goes here, that's why we have 46 and 46. No more DNA replication, so these cells just split, and that's how we get 23 in all of these. All right. Um, all right, let's go back to the notes and continue on. So, Meiosis is going to have two rounds of division that we talked about, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. And there's going to be important things that are going to happen that are going to make the whole process a little bit different from the mitosis process. So what you'll notice is mitosis looks exactly like this, but there's going to be a couple of minor differences. So one thing that's going to happen is this pairing of homologous chromosomes. So what will happen is you'll have chromosome number 2 from your mother, chromosome number 2 from your dad. Those are going to meet up with each other, and they're going 
going to exchange information and then they're going to come apart. So what's going to happen is your mom's chromosome number two is going to have little pieces of your dad's chromosome number two and vice versa, right? Um, so we don't know what's going to end up in the gametes that you make, but that's kind of how it's going to work. Um, so that's going to be one thing. Um, and then as far as like differences between mitosis and meiosis, that's one big thing is that the DNA exchanges segments. Um, another one is meiosis has two divisions, whereas mitosis is only one. Um, meiosis, as I showed you in that picture, is going to make four daughter cells, whereas mitosis is only going to produce two. And then I just mentioned this, that crossing over is going to happen. And so what's going to happen as a result of that crossing over is each gamete is going to be genetically different from the other ones. Um, all right, so in the next video, we'll get into the phases of meiosis and how that kind of works.